Hang out here at Scott Jeffries Performance Plus, getting our update from racer Kevin Root, who is with us right now. Ninth place for him at Land of Legends Raceway with his big block. He'll be going to Can Am on Wednesday, right? Yes, sir. All right. So by the time you get this, I put this up overnight, you'll be ready for that. Son Nicholas ended up in 12th. He's still learning. So how are we doing? How are things? We're good. Busy. Okay. Let's go through the stuff that everybody wants to hear about. Let's talk about fuel, first of all, uh, availability and cost. Let's start with the DB98 or the D98, the sportsman. That's all pretty good. We um we have everything in stock. One hundred nine twelve, D ninety eight, one ten, uh, one twelve, methanol. We're we're pretty good on the stock stuff right now. And you tell me six fifty a drum for the D ninety eight, seven thirty for the D twelve, and the what is it? One oh one oh nine. One oh nine. Yep. How much is that up from last year? About a hundred. Okay, so not as much as maybe we might have thought. Yeah, compared but to I, that. I think we're expecting another surcharge of roughly a dollar fifty a gallon. As they're talking. Really? So, yeah. Okay, so at 55, that means we're looking at another 70, 80 bucks, mm -hmm. roughly at that point yeah. on that. Okay. Tires, how is availability right now? Uh, tough. Probably going to be here the same story all year long for tires right now. Um, fronts are a little bit tough, especially right fronts. Uh, left rear, the short stuff, we, we, didn't, we didn't get any in last time. Um, right rear tall seemed to be okay. And that was the problem last year, the right rear talls, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just because it's such a common tire. Everybody uses, you know, with all the stagger we run in these cars. Um, so you're using the tall, tall right rears and short left rears. So, but, yeah, I mean, it's not crazy, crazy bad, but it's still, we're, we're, we're very selective on, you know, how we're, distributing tires right now you so know, how just, do you distribute somebody calls and say this is what i need uh it's tough i mean we like to take care of the customers that run you know obviously the the Brewerton, the fulton and the weedsport the tracks we supply at um but um we also do have customers that don't run there that have been customers for us for a long time that we try to take care of but it's tough i mean somebody's not going to come in here and walk out with three right rears right at the moment okay. you know what i mean so but we just we just we we go about how the availability of what we have right now how was the cost compared to this time last year or even six months ago? Yeah, the cost is, um, I mean, unfortunately, they're up to right around the 220s range, you know what I mean, from last year, 196 or so, you know what I mean, at this time. So, obviously, the rising cost, I don't see that stopping. I 30, believe. 40 bucks a tire, roughly? Yeah, roughly 30. I okay. see it probably another, they're talking another one in the summer, of course. So, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll just see what happens. Okay. Of course, Kaiser Wheels and Swift Springs have been helping us out a little bit. How are the Kaiser Wheel supplies looking right We're now? We're doing good. They're doing very well. You know, and they're finally up and running. It looks like full capacity. Everybody's back there now. Um, so we can get what we want. Yeah, talking okay. with Vinny. It seems like we are we're we actually got another order in last week of the stuff we were missing. So we're pretty... For the most part, we're stocked up pretty good on the Kaiser Wheel stuff, and obviously the Swift, the Swift stuff we really haven't had a problem getting. Okay, good. And if you want to know more about the Kaiser Wheels, search for Kevin's name on this channel. You can find out one before. He talks about the three pieces, how you fix it. really is. It's less expensive, and you can bring a rim back after something happens. Steering boxes, still issues there? Yeah, we're, it's, um, I mean, we're still in the same boat as we were last month, the month before that, you know what I mean? Um, I we believe there's light at the end of the tunnel um, after talking to a couple of people, but we're still at least a couple, two, three weeks out on steering boxes. So there are people who are actually waiting and maybe sitting at home because well, of it, Well, I don't know the people waiting, but it seems like a lot more people are needing steering boxes, you know, okay. I don't know, wrecking or whatever, or steering boxes just going bad right now, but yeah. Okay. Rear ends, I know we had some issues there. We did. I mean, we're stocked up. We got both the MI and the winners in stock right now, the 412 ring opinions. Um, pretty good right there so far with the rear end side of stuff right at the moment. Okay. Tell me you learned something about U-joints. Yeah, we, we're having a – I mean, we're seeing more and more of it this year for sure, the the breaking of the U-joints and stuff like that. And um, these, these cars on the coils just get so much roll steer on them. They, they bind – or you're trying not to make them bind, I guess, you know what I mean? So we went out, and um, Scott actually um, went out and looked for a little bit better U-joint, we think, and it's a it's a Napco one, but it's a performance one. You know, not a lot of people have them. Um, we do here, and it seems like we I put them in my car. Scott's got them in all Jeremy stuff, and, and obviously Larry's been running the the, the, the same um, U-joints, you know, out of here, so... Uh, it seemed to be holding up a lot better. And what's the brand again? Uh, it's a Neapco, but it's just a performance shoe drive. Okay, I guess I haven't heard that name before. Yeah, that was yeah the no, there's Neapco, there's Spicers. We stock both, you know what I mean? Not that the Spicers are bad. We just feel like the way these cars are these days that, um, you know what I mean, that we think it's the, the heat of the U-joints, you know okay. what I mean? They're just getting a little too hot. So we kind of found a, like a more of a performance 
U joint to, to try to help that out. And of course, you lose a U joint, you can lose other things too. Oh, right? you're a lot, lot of guys. I mean, right? we've had a lot of guys break dry shafts, you know, and then you're breaking mm-hmm. torque arms, transmissions, mm-hmm. rear ends. It's, it's just goes down the line. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of bad things that could happen. So, U joints, obviously, is where all the power gets to, to the rear end. So, without the U joint in between, nothing's going to happen. We've been racing now for a few weeks. What kind of things are we seeing now that maybe we didn't see a month ago for people? Uh, coming you in? know, just a normal wear and tear on stuff, you know, the, the unfortunate wrecking and you know, bending front axles, radius rods, you know, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, Our front this, axles available? We, yeah, I mean, we got, yeah, front axles are available. You know what I mean? Everything, all the components for the most part we got, we are available. So it seems to be okay. It's not too crazy, but, you know, crazy enough. And what is it now? It's eight degrees or something? The axles yeah, it's kind a of rolled forward eight, eight, almost? Yeah, so it's a uh, camber, eight degree camber, so not really rolled forward, rolled in. You know what I mean? use that, or is that a choice? Most of the coil cars, uh, most of the coil cars has the eight degree. Camera. That's where that matters. Yep. Is on the coil cars. Yep. Okay. Um, how about other things like um, hubs and rotors? And hubs, and rotors, wheel with you know we obviously were wheel with dealer. Um, obviously as you can see right here. Oh yeah, um, they're there. You know, we seem to be okay. Well, we're just a little bit behind, but we, we have a pretty good stock of it right now. Um, okay. Just trying to get some of the stuff to just add our quantity up a little bit. But other than that, you know, we seem to be okay with the hubs. You know, Bert's a little behind, but we're, we're starting to see the light there, too. You know, they're okay. starting to get some stuff out to us. And what kind of stuff are people buying at the track besides fuel, which you told me is between 12 and $14 a gallon? Uh, you know, a lot of every, little everything, you know what I mean? Obviously, tires, you know, when we got availability on that. The fuel's obviously been very busy at the racetracks. Um, but, you know what I mean? Just everything else goes along with it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Lug nuts and air pressure gauges. And right. a lot of it's a lot of race receivers going bad this year. I don't know really? why. We seem to sell a lot of them right at the moment. What's but, the race receiver going for now? Uh, race here was about a hundred and five hundred and ten bucks. Okay, you know? right. little tiny thing, and, and I like the how they got it now. You can actually pull it, put it, hook it up to your helmet, and you actually hear. Yeah, it they got well, the, we right? got the helmet holsters in stock too. Yeah, they seem to a lot of drivers like that now, so they're not yeah. flopping around on your. Suit. I never like the tape on my ear and having it in like that. I yeah, I come mean, out, you know, you know I I still know all the old school guys still do that. You know. Yeah, yeah. Of course, pulling that tape off is never fun at yeah, the end of the no, night, no. but uh, that's it, that's its own issue right there. So obviously, things are going well for the business. Yeah, we're, we've been really busy this year. It's been um, it's been good. Um, it's nice to be able to somewhat have parts now again. You know what I mean? So, you know, you can't sell if you don't have it. So mm-hmm. we're trying to keep. We're just trying to. The biggest thing is trying to keep up on the game of keeping the parts in, in the shop. You know. Okay, guys, get hit the blue E. Get you everything we're doing. This one, like we said, we are, we over uploaded this over Tuesday night, so you guys had it on Wednesday. Good luck. I'll see you up at KM tomorrow. Maybe I'll yes. talk to you at the end of the night. All right. Yeah, I hope so. But we'll see. <laughs> Good to see you. Take Thank care, you. man. Yep.